Japanese Coast Guard officers say eight Chinese surveillance ships have entered Japanese waters. The two countries worsen. Last month, Japan detained the captain of a Chinese. <laughs> Uh, given the recent history of tensions in the South China Sea, uh, China's unilateral decision to introduce its oil rig and into these disputed waters is provocative and unhelpful to the maintenance of peace and stability in the region. China must respect international laws. On May 4, 2014, the representative of Vietnam Ministry of Foreign Affairs protested China's decision to move the Haiyang 981R rig well inside Vietnam's waters in the South China Sea. In particular, China plans to deploy the R rig just 190 miles off Vietnam's Lison Island and 17 miles off the Paracel Islands, which belong to Vietnam. The position is completely within Vietnam's 200-mile exclusive economic zone. In addition to this outrageous act, China has unilaterally used its naval forces to attack Vietnamese marine police and fishery protection vessels, causing damage and injury for the ships and their crews. However, China dishonestly denied any provocative actions on their part and shifted the blame on Vietnam for the tensions. To justify their wrongful behavior, China falsely claims that the oil rig lies inside Chinese waters as it is deployed 17 miles off Triton Island which is called Zhongjian Dao in Chinese within the territorial sea and contiguous zone surrounding the Paracel Islands. The truth, however, is that in 1974 China seized the Paracels by force and therefore violated the principle of peaceful occupation in international law. On the other hand, Vietnam has in its hands overwhelming historical and legal evidence to assert undisputed sovereignty over the Paracel Islands. Disregarding international concerns, China considers itself above international law and tramples on all civilized principles of conduct. Although being a signatory to both the 1982 UN Convention on the Law of the Sea and the 2002 Declaration on the conduct of parties in the South China Sea. China respects these documents only in words, not deeds. China has demonstrated this kind of behavior before, not only to Vietnam, but also to many other countries in the region. In itself, this infringement of Vietnamese sovereignty is a serious provocation that ignites tension in the South China Sea. Besides, the banning of foreign ships within a three-mile radius of the rig in the presence of 80 escorting vessels, which include naval ships and aircraft, and greatly disturb international maritime security. Vietnam does not consider the area a disputed one and will not concede to any illegal action from China. The ceaseless escalation of China's expansionist ambitions in the South China Sea is causing great turbulence and instability. This resembles nothing like the peaceful rise that Beijing often preaches to the world. China is not living up to its stature as a responsible world power.